You've been married four times. Mm -hmm. You had children in an adulterous relationship. Mm -hmm. People are calling you a hypocrite. Are you? No. I'm forgiven. Washed clean. And so four and a half years ago when Davis found God, she says she could not separate church from state, believing that a marriage is only between a man and a woman. Davis, who was elected in November as a Democrat, refuses to obey the opinion of the Supreme Court that sent her to jail for contempt. So you would deny your friends who are in gay relationships, you would deny them a marriage license as well? I did. I can't put my name on a license that doesn't represent what God ordained marriage to be. Welcome back to the Wildcast, guys. Hope y'all doing well out there. I'm your host, Rod, as always. And in this video, we're going to be discussing Kim Davis once again. And that is because she is finally going to be made to pay for what she did to multiple same-sex couples uh, back in 2015 after the Supreme Court in Oberfell decided that uh, same-sex couples can get married uh, just like straight couples can get married according to the 14th Amendment of the Constitution Equal Protections Clause. Uh, Kim Davis decided that her uh, religious beliefs and her God and whatever dictates she believes that he has handed down are greater than our Anglo-American law and Anglo-Saxon law. But the main authority that rules my life is, is the Lord. So godly authority trumps all authority in your mind? Yes. And decided to basically mix religion and politics. And she decided not to hand out licenses to gay couples and then to everybody because she wanted to be equally discriminative towards straight couples. So she actually discriminated against everybody. At one point, she refused to hand out any marriage licenses uh, because she didn't want to do it to get do it for gay people so she decided not to do it for straight people either she's hilarious she basically refused to do her job she was the rowan county clerk one of the major uh, duties of the clerk is to hand out marriage licenses to stamp it okay give the seal of approval and she refused to do it for everybody first she refused gay people because of the supreme court decision then she said i'm not going to issue it to anybody and many other clerk a couple other clerks did this too and they have all backed down they've they all lost in court and the offices eventually started treating everybody equally as the supreme court decided back in 2015. So this particular update is her finally having to pay literal money for uh, the discrimination that she handed out. So this case has to do with two specific two gay couples who sued her. There are straight couples who sued her in Kentucky. This is a federal case in federal court. And the latest is that she will have to pay damages after this damages trial is over. So back in March of 2022, Judge Bunning, who was the case, who was the judge on this case, the federal judge appointed by George W. Bush, by the way, um, he de he defaulted against her, uh, sim similar to Alex Jones, where Alex Jones lost the trial by judge because he refused to comply with discovery. In her case, there were no issues of material facts that needed to go to a jury. So the judge in this case uh, defaulted the case against her on summary judgment and ruled in favor of the uh, uh, the plaintiffs and because there's there are no genuine issues of material facts she it's clear the record is clear she discriminated against these people she uh, violated their 14th amendment rights that's what that's what they claimed in their lawsuit so there's nothing to go in front of a jury so the judge could rule as a matter of law that she she basically is uh liable okay she was held liable and now this is a cost trial so yesterday the trial started in in federal court in Kentucky, a federal jury will be determining how much she has to pay in compensatories, punitives, and attorney's fees. Okay, most likely she's going to have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it depends on what the Kentucky jury determines. If there's if they're more conservative leaning and they don't like gay people, which is very unlikely because even because over what like 80% of Americans now support gay marriage including like uh, over 80% of Catholics. So even evangelicals are done with a gay fight. Okay, they're focusing on trans people at, even at this point to discriminate. They're moving on in their line of discrimination now. Okay, so I don't think she's gonna get a good deal. She's gonna probably get like hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand dollars at the least at the high level, more maybe five hundred thousand, depending on uh, the compensatories they're able to demonstrate. I'm talking about together. Uh, she's gonna have to pay that in all the damages. My guess would be somewhere around 300000 but we'll have to see. That's up to the jury, okay? But that's what's happening right now. So I want to cover this because I covered many developments in this case. And this is important because this is why we don't want religious lunatics getting into positions of power. She literally said in one of the interviews that she's trying to obey God's law and, and God is her boss, not the government, okay? These, these are anti-government people and we can't let these anti-government uh, people like Alex Jones or religious nutcases like Kim Davis get into 
into power because she doesn't care about our law. Who do you consider your boss? Is your boss God? Is your boss your constituents? Or is your boss the federal government? Well, my constituents elected me, but m the main authority that rules my life is, is the Lord. So godly authority trumps all authority in your mind? Yes. So why would you want to remain in this position? I'm good at my job. Mm -hmm. I have friends who are gay and lesbians. Davis had previously been the clerk of Rowan County, Kentucky, after the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in 2015 in Oberfell v. Hodges, in which the court recognized same-sex marriage as a constitutional right. Davis refused to issue a marriage license to same-sex couples on the grounds that following the law offended her religious beliefs, because she follows God's law, not American and Anglo-Saxon jurisprudence, okay? Uh, because that's, in America, that's what you have to obey if you're going to work for the government or if you're a citizen. If you don't like it, you can always leave, okay? Get your ass to Saudi Arabia because you'd fit in there great. You'd have to wear a hijab, but you fit in there great. You can live under your God's law over there, but you can't do it in America, okay? The Bible does, is not the, the a rule book for our country. The Constitution and our uh, co federal common law from England and from America, from American jurisprudence and Anglo-Saxon jurisprudence, that's what rules America, okay? If you don't like it, you can always leave. And that's my message to the left and the right and everybody else. Okay? You don't have to live here. We would prefer it if you leave. You get your religious ass out of here, okay? Because that, that's the danger of religion and politics. They, they, it, it, it intrudes on the law. And people try to use their personal beliefs to try to bend or twist the law or to completely ignore the law as she did. That's why, that's why passions are dangerous, right? Political lunatics and religious lunatics can go, can ignore the law because they don't care. They have other principles. Their highest principle is not law and order. Okay, their highest principle is whatever crap they believe in, the Bible, the Quran, or whatever. That's why Islamic uh, fundamentalists are dangerous, Christian fundamentalists are dangerous, and if there's such a thing, a Jewish fundamentalists are also dangerous, but they, they don't try to get into American politics that much, okay, that much. The the the, the people who are gung-ho about Israel, they do, but, but they don't try to enforce their religion for the most part on us. It's Christians and Muslims in different countries who try to do this stuff. So they're the most dangerous, in my opinion. Uh, two couples from whom Davis denied marriage license on multiple occasions, David Ermold and David Moore, that's one couple, and the other couple was uh, James Yates and William Smith, sued Davis for violating their civil rights, specifically their 14th Amendment, and there are other claims as well. That was the major one. U.S. District Judge David Bunning, a George Bush appointee, granted the plaintiff's motion for summary judgment in March of 2022. Bunning noted in his order that Davis's own testimony, in Davis's own testimony, that she considered having her name on a marriage license for a same-sex couple a very clear heaven or hell issue. This is how insane she is. Illustrated a knowing violation of the law, thereby rejecting Davis's defense of qualified immunity. So that's why he automatically ruled against her and held her liable because she admitted that she did it for knowingly personal and religious reasons. That's why she violated their rights because she doesn't care about the 14th Amendment and equal rights for all citizens. She cares about the Bible, a fairy tale book written by a bunch of Jews about more than 3,000 years ago. Okay, that's what she cares about. And that's what she thinks the American government should be run on. This woman's a lunatic. What was that about? Who knows? Bitch, be crazy. <laughs> Ultimately, this court's determination is simple, wrote the judge. Davis cannot use her own constitutional rights, the First Amendment, as a shield to violate the constitutional rights of others, the 14th Amendment rights of the, the couples to get married, uh, others while performing her duties as an elected official. Hey, if you want to be religious and you don't want to do uh, marriage licenses for gay people, leave the job. Nobody's forcing you to stay there. Go be a, be a nun. Go be whatever the equivalent of that is in your religion. She's an evangelical, whatever that is. I don't think they even allow women pastors, but you should go and work for the church, okay? The, the government of work is not for you. The government worker the government worker has to ch uh, treat everybody with equal rights, okay? You can't discriminate just because people are gay and you don't like them. The immunity issue was ultimately appealed to the U.S. Uh, Courts of Appeal in the Sixth Circuit, where U.S. Circuit Judge Richard Allen Griffin also ruled against Davis, okay? I bet Richard Allen was a Christian, but nevertheless, you can't use your religion to oppress other people. And that's what she was trying to do. And that's why she lost at the trial court, 
with Bunning and also at the appeals courts in the Sixth Circuit, um, which is a very conservative circuit, by the way. Bunning did not rule on damages at the summary judgment phase, and that aspect of the case is now proceeding to federal jury. Uh, it will decide what, if any, compensatory and punitive damages David must pay, along with pre- and post-judgment interest, costs, and attorney's fees. The jury's deliberations are proceeding right now. It's literally going on right now as I speak. Uh, they're probably going to come out with their decision today or tomorrow, and we'll find out exactly what she, ha what she has to pay. So that's about it for Kim Davis. She's finished. I think she's also being uh, sued at a state level. So those will have to go to trial as well, and they will be resolved in due time. Uh, but the major message here is that anyone who's in government that is religious, you keep your religious beliefs to yourself. You will obey the American and Anglo-Saxon law and uh, obey the federal constitution and the state laws of your uh, of your county and your state if you want to be in government. If you don't like that and you want to uh, apply God's law to people, go work in a church, go work in a mosque, go work in a synagogue. Government is not the place for you. With government, we're going to apply rational legal standards developed by the proud tradition of Anglo-American law, which, have been which has been developed in, in the last 250 years, and you will submit to our law if you want to work in our government. We all submit as citizens to American law, and we have law and order in our, uh, in our country. We have peace for the most part, uh, and we have equal justice under the law for the people who are part of the justice justice system and the people who work for the government, whether at county level or federal level, have to apply the law equally to everybody. If you don't like that, then you can get your fat ass out of here, Kim Davis. Okay, that's what she can do. And she was removed from her position. She was put in jail. That's the right thing to do. She's not a victim. She's an oppressor. That's what she is. You know, there's been a lot of fucking stuff in the news uh, lately about same sex marriage. Everybody's going crazy about this. And some of the churches say, oh, no, can do. You can't do that. I'm for same-sex marriage. I don't give a shit. There's two guys, two gals, uh, guy, gal, what, whatever it is, I believe that any human being in America or any human being in the goddamn world that wants to be married, if it's the same sex, more power to them. And, and what also chaps my ass, Teddy, is that one of these churches or some of these churches have the, have the high horse that they get on and say, we as a church do not believe in that. Which one of these motherfuckers talked to God and God said that same-sex marriage was a no-can do? Can you, can you verify? Can you give me some 411 on that background and what's your feelings in general on that subject? She didn't like gay people and she used God as an excuse to discriminate against their rights. That's what she did. There are many things in the Bible, like not eating shellfish, that is also just as bad, and you can go to hell for eating shellfish. That's why Jews don't touch shellfish or any kind of other seafoods. Okay, because uh, that is considered an abomination in the eyes of God. But Kim Davis is not protesting in front of Red Lobster because she doesn't give a damn about that. She wants to discriminate against gay people because she thinks it's kind of weird and she wants to use God as an excuse to, to discriminate against people like my mom, who's, who married a beautiful blonde Swedish woman and moved to Sweden. And how dare you think you can judge some Nordic women? Okay, they are above you. They are more superior to you. Lena, we eat for the calendar. Och vi utfyller varandra. Vi krånglar och vi hör lätt eller gäj lag. Nu hör du massa om ring ganska länge. Och jag har ju provat att ringa ett ring flera gånger, lagt på. Och du är liksom inte vår helt förnöjd. Nu har vi faktiskt både bilhytte och lägenhet. Så då tänkte jag att det kanske var på tid att spör. Vill du lyfta med mig? My mom and her wife are not going to bow to your Jewish fairy tale. So you can take your Bible and shove it right up your ass, Kim Davis. Then that's my message. And that's the bottom line for this video. And I'll see you guys all in my next video, as always.
Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep current with the videos that I'm making. And if you have been watching for a long time and appreciate my content and the time that I put into these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all the legal documents I use in my videos on Patreon for my patrons. I also post extra legal content when I don't have time to make videos on Patreon for my patrons. As a patron, you can also contact me directly on Patreon to request a video or ask a question about a relevant topic. These are all privileges that I provide for my patron supporters. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a very nice day.